Welcome back to the R6 online lecture series on W402 special activity machines. In this lecture, we will continue our discussion on permanent magnetic DC motor, which comes under module 5. Reference textbook on special activity machines by E.G. Janardhanan. Let's derive the torque equation of PMDC motor and draw the equivalent circuit. For this first we need to define some terms. Let I be the current in the armature conductor. IA be the current in the external circuit in amps. D is the flux density in Tesla. Phi is flux per pole. Omega is angular velocity in radians per second. A is the number of parallel parts, P number of poles, R radius of the armature core, Z total number of armature conductors, L effective length of armature conductors, F force experienced by a conductor in newtons, P Torque developed in Newton meter and EB back EMF in volts. Now let's derive the equation for torque developed. Force, force experienced by an armature conductor in the DC motor given by the expression F equal to B I L where B is the flux density, I is the current flowing through the conductor and L is the length of the conductor. Now torque due to one conductor is equal to force into product, force into radius of the armature core that is R. The torque expression becomes T equal to B I L into R. Now, for a conductor having length L meters, when it covers a circumference of 2 pi R, the circumferential area is given by 2 pi L into R. Now we have flux per pole as phi and total number of poles for the motor as p therefore total flux will be equal to p into phi and another expression for total flux is flux density b into circumferential area 2 pi l into r so we can write p phi is equal to 2 pi L into R. Now uh, I'll name this equation as equation number 1. And this as equation number 2. Now using equation number 1 and 2, torque due to one conductor is B I L into R. Now uh, from equation number 2, B L R can be written as P phi by P phi by 2 pi. Now substitute P phi by 2, 2 pi instead of B L R in equation number 1. You will get torque is equal to P phi by 2 pi into I. Now I is the 
armature current in one conductor which is the which is equal to current in the external circuit divided by total number of parallel paths substituting i is equal to ia by a and simplifying you get torque is equal to p5 by 2 pi into ia by a now this is torque due to one conductor now for reset conductors total torque will be p5 by 2 pi a into ia into z where Z is the total number of conductors. And in this expression for torque, all other terms except IA can be taken as constant. All other terms except IA can be taken as constant. So P5 by 2 pi A into Z is taken as a constant KT. And tor becomes KT into IA. Now next we will derive the expression for backing of in any conductor, EMF will be induced when it cuts the flux lines and the EMF induced is given by the rate of change of flux linkage psi. Now for one revolution, the total flux is equal to P into flux per pole and time taken for one revolution is equal to 2 pi by omega since omega t is equal to 2 pi radians. In one, for one completing one revolution it takes 2 pi radians. It covers 2 pi radians. So the time will be 2 pi by omega. Now the number of conductors per parallel path cutting the flux in one revolution is total number of conductors divided by parallel paths that is z by a. Therefore em of induced is equal to Z by A, which is the number of conductors per parallel path, into flux, stock flux is P5 by T. Time is 2 pi by omega. Now, in this expression, Pz5 by 2 pi A, this much term is constant and can replace it with KT. So, the expression becomes back M of EB is equal to KT into omega. Now the voltage equation for a DC motor is equal to e equal, V equal to EB plus IARA in the steady state condition where RA is the armature resistance, IA is the armature current or the circuit current, external circuit current, KT is the constant and omega is the angular velocity and V is the supply voltage. And also from the previous uh, slide, we have derived the expression for torque as T equal to KT into IA. Therefore, torque becomes T equal to instead of IA, I'll name it as equation, this equation as equation number 3. And this equation is equation number 4. So from equation number 3, you have to find out the expression for IA. You will get, get as IA is equal to V minus KT omega divided by RA. And substitute that in equation number 4. You will get torque expression as 
t equal to v minus k t omega into v minus k t omega by r into k t. Now we can draw the equivalent circuit of a permanent man DC motor. V is the supply voltage. I is the circuit current. R is the armature resistance and EB is the back gamma generated in the armature. Now we can draw the performance characteristics of a permanent man DC motor. Here in this figure, efficiency, output power, input current, and speed are drawn with respect to torque. Advantages of permanent man DC motors that since we are using permanent magnets as field, there is no need of any field winding excitation arrangement. So that will improve the efficiency and will reduce the overall size of the motor. And this is a cheaper and economical um, option for fractional KW rated applications and the for smaller rating motors or for smaller rating applications the permanent magnet reduces the manufacturing cost and overall motor becomes cheaper version. We have a few disadvantages of uh, PMDC motor. We cannot uh, compensate for armature reaction and therefore the, the certain magnetic flux gets reduced. And since we are using permanent magnet as uh, the field poles, there is a chance of poles getting permanently demantized due to the excessive armature current during the starting reversal and overloading or during the transient operations. So that will affect the performance of the motor. Now again one more disadvantage is that we cannot use PMDC motors for speed uh, we cannot efficiently use PMDC motors for speed control because field in the air gap is fixed and cannot be controlled. So, speed control from 0 to base speed is possible by varying the armature voltage. But the above base speed control, we require a, the field current control. That is not possible or that is difficult in the case of uh, PM permanent magnetism. Now next is it has lower torque per ampere turns compared to the shunt motor of same rating. So that will affect the performance. And the other another disadvantage is that the PMDC motor magnetic field is present even when the motor is not being used. But for wound field type of DC motor, the winding field will be energized or so flux lines will be present only when the winding is energized. So that is another disadvantage. Now we have a few applications of permanent man DC motor listed out here. These motors are used where small rated motors 
are required dc motors are required and also where effective control is not required say for example in toys wipers washers air conditioners etc in portable vacuum cleaners food mixers portable electric tools such as drilling machines trimmers etc we can go for a permanent matted dc motor So now we come to an end to our discussion on permanent magnet DC motors. Reference for this lecture is textbook on special electrical machines by E.G. Janardhanan.